Domestic violence is at a crisis level. It is an epidemic in South Carolina. We often remain at the top of the chart uh, as far as uh, men who kill women, domestic violence incidents. Uh, for me, um, living with domestic violence for most of my life, uh, my, I witnessed domestic violence with my parents, um, I witnessed it with other family members, and then I too um, became a victim. So I always say that I was, uh, I was definitely groomed to be a victim. I knew exactly how to be one because I had seen it all of my life. I lived with, as a victim of domestic violence for almost 18 years. Um, I was, uh, you know, in a, in a relationship that I didn't realize um, I was a, a battered woman or a victim of domestic violence until um, later on, once I got older, because it was cute when I was 22 to have somebody who wanted to control everything I did and everywhere I went. It was, you know, very, I, you know, it was like nice because it was like, oh, he loves me so much. Um, but then as I got older, I could see that, um, you know, all of the, the black eyes and the bruises and the control was not, it wasn't cute and it wasn't about love. It was about control and it was wrong. But I had been conditioned to accept it because it's what I knew. So therefore, um, I continued to live in it until, um, you know, I was able to, to break free of it. First thing is, you, to, to support the victim. You might see it, they may not be ready. Um, when you see a victim of domestic violence, people want to say things like, oh, that could never be me, or why would you stay, or how could you live like that? That's not the correct way to behave. When somebody's a victim, they need support. They need you to just say, I'm with you, you know, what can I do to help you, to give that encouragement to get out, not to belittle them and put them down because that just makes a stressful situation more stressful. Um, you know, I had to, I had an instructor who happened to work for sister care. I was in college, I was in grad school and how she knew that I was a victim to this day, I still don't know because the way I got out was she handed me something one night on my way out of class. And when I got to my car, I looked at it and it was a card for sister care. Two days later, I needed it, and I called the hotline, and I got guidance and leadership on how to get out. For the first time in my life, I realized that I was a victim and that I needed help, and that was 15 years ago, and to this day, I am still in counseling I, it, because there are some things that hit you so hard and hurt you so deep that you may never get over it, and I used to rush myself to say, when am I going to get over this? Why can't I just get over this? But through going through the counseling, I learned that it may take me a lifetime to fully heal from all of the trauma I suffered. At eight years old, I was molested by somebody in my neighborhood. And then to grow up witnessing domestic violence, to move out to my first relationship when I was very young, and it be riddled with domestic violence. It may take me forever to completely heal, but I can say, thanks to Sister Care, I am better. I am here now because I want to give back to an organization that supported me at the lowest time of my life. At the time of my life when I wanted to give up, when I thought that I was so irreparably broken that I would never be normal, and certainly that I would never be able to function in life, but I did it with their help, and I highly recommend Anybody going through anything that they believe, uh, you know, whether it's financial or physical or mental uh, abuse, that it happens in so many different forms, reach out to Sister Care. They were there for me. They're still there for me. And I'm giving back to them because I want to help somebody who is just like me.